Hi, well, back in the crab shack. I'm dressing these uh, for myself, uh, home kitchen as it were. The two crabs are the female, which is this with the broader apron, and the male crab with his very narrow apron there. The male has bigger claws and obviously more white meat, whereas the female is a lot sweeter and tastier in the body. Uh, I will open it up and explain the pieces you need to remove, the parts you need to take out, because not everything in the crab is completely edible. Okay, so we'll start with this one. There's a natural split in the back, which incidentally is when the crab shoots its shell, that's the part where it emerges from. The body, the jelly body, comes away from inside the crab and everything then is all soft and squidgy. It leaves the gills in place inside, which I will again show you once we open it up. And then the crab has got potential to grow. So opening the crab up from the back, the first part we take out is the stomach, which is connected to the mouth. So we push the mouth in, remove the stomach section. Okay. Then we take these wings off the side And there are some gills, dead men's fingers as they know. They're not poisonous, they're just sponge, but not particularly edible. Then we open up the apron to take that off, scoop this piece out of here, and we open it apart to remove the poo pipe, which is in there. Okay, the next thing I do is take all the legs away from the shickle, this one is only one claw. So eight legs that come off. And then these, because I like to present all the meat from the crab, will then remove the largest sections of the legs. Each of these can be dressed out in turn. And the amount of meat that you get in the little legs is quite substantial at the end of the day based on the overall product. But you can see straight away the amount of meat there is in these little legs. Okay, then the shickle. So remove the dead men's fingers if you feel comfortable. Sometimes we can dress the crab without taking the dead men's fingers off, as long as we're careful not to include them in the in the ship, in the crab itself. Then pick out the meat from the shickle. The picker I'm using is uh, a single stainless steel knife, a heavy handled stainless steel knife that I've cut down to give me a blade to actually use that to get into the legs of the shickle and pull them all out. So there's the four tunnels, if you like, where the meat is that contain the legs and the two that contain the claws. So the amount of meat that comes out is quite substantial, really. Careful not to break the cartilage because that part of the crab is quite soft. You can hear it crunching, but it's just moving against the cartilage rather than breaking it. And the final last claw hole. Okay. Then the claw meat. Now there's a little blade left inside the meat, so I will have to just make sure that I pull that one out, there it is. The blade doesn't always come out clean. It's nice if you can get the claw out in one piece for presentation. Um, nick another claw.
Yeah, that one came out. So the claw, the blade came out with the claw on that one. And as I said, the heavy part of the, the knife acts as a hammer, so I can break the claw and remove the meat. It goes on the top. And then to finish off the process, the little legs dress up the side. So, dressed crab, Jim Lingwood style.